Now at 11.30, one year after a brutal attack inside an Encino emergency room, nurses say their safety on the job is still at risk. Nurses, nurses rather, met in front of that hospital to mark that grim anniversary and speak out about those issues. Corrine Winter joining us now with the details in the KTLA 5 newsroom. Corrine? Glenn, these nurses who are speaking out today, they believe there is a constant threat of workplace violence on the job. They work in the Encino Hospital Medical Center's emergency department. One year after a violent attack there, they say the hospital still has not done enough to keep staff members safe and that there are serious security and safety issues. Last year on June 3rd, a man was accused of stabbing two nurses and a doctor inside the ER. Prosecutors, they charged Ashkan Amir Soleimani with three counts of attempted murder with allegations of causing great bodily injury. He had prior convictions that included assault. Amir Soleimani allegedly walked inside the emergency room with a knife and barricaded himself inside the facility, which had to be evacuated. This was a brutal attack. These nurses fear can happen again, and they want more security officers on site. They're also pushing for more metal detectors to prevent people from carrying weapons inside the hospital. These nurses are also pushing for hospital officials to include staff members on discussions involving policy protocols on workplace violence. We all have our stories. I've had my stethoscope wrapped around my neck as a new grad. I've been cornered in a room by an aggressive patient. Workplace violence in hospitals is a national problem. This is a public health issue. One year later, we still don't feel safe. Today, we are calling for a change, but sadly, this is not the first time that we ask the hospital to do a better job of protecting nurses. Take a look at this. In Sino Hospital, they addressed to these concerns and told KTLA in a statement, the hospital has developed and implemented safety-centric programs, and we continuously provide safety-related trainings and education for all staff and physicians. Our efforts include a joint law enforcement and fire department safety conference and incident debriefings. Immediately following the incident, these were all conducted and attended by our local police divisions. Now, hospital representatives they also confirmed that they regularly conduct active shooter classes and drills with the LAPD that's the latest in the newsroom I'm Kareen Winter we'll send it back to you now in the studio all right